the Special Rapporteur's mandate is all about Beijing's interference in our electoral process. In Canada, we have only one federal electoral process. We have only one democratic institution, and that is the election of members to this House of Commons. And three times in the past three months, this House has voted for an independent public inquiry. Yet the Special Rapporteur and the Prime Minister alone have rejected an inquiry. How can confidence and trust be restored in our democracy if the Prime Minister and government continue to defy the democratic will of this House? The leader of the opposition. Erroneous? Fears? Wow. Mr. Speaker, tonight, families will sit down with their kids at their dining room table to say, sorry, we have to sell the house because mortgage payments are going to go up by as much as fifteen hundred percent, fifteen hundred dollars per month. That's not me. That's according to the Bank of Canada, which predicts a forty percent increase in mortgage payments. People can't pay fifteen grand more in mortgage payments. They have only two hundred bucks left in the bank at the end of the month. Will the prime minister acknowledge that these are real fears by real people and stand on their side? We were the last to go in and the first to come out of the great global recession. We left the country with a balanced budget, and housing costs were half, half of what they are today. And not to mention that food price inflation never went above four percent. That is a far superior record to what this Prime Minister has delivered. He has doubled housing prices, doubled the cost of a mortgage, doubled rent costs, sent 1.5 million people running to the food bank. And now he proposes another $60 billion of inflationary deficits or $4,200 in extra cost to Canadians. Will he do what he promised to do just six months ago and give a date for a balance? Goes again, totally out of touch, says Canadians have never had it so good. Those nine and... Ten young people who have given up on ever owning a home, they've never had it so good, says the Prime Minister. The 1.5 million who are going to food banks or skipping meals, they've never had it so good. Those that are going to the Mississauga food bank seeking help with medical assistance and dying, not because they're sick, but because they're hungry, have never had it so good. What they are experiencing is the unavoidable mathematics of an inflationary government, which has spilled $500 billion of inflation on their backs. When will we balance the budget to bring down those costs? Mr. Speaker, it's very hard to get the truth about the matter of foreign interference. The Prime Minister is refusing to tell the truth. He is trying to drag opposition leaders into his secrets. And, most shocking of all, David Johnston admitted that he also didn't have access to the whole truth. Before, concluded that, before concluding that we don't need a public inquiry. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister has two options. He either dismisses Mr. Johnston and seriously considers a public inquiry, or he confirms that the entire process is an attempt to hide the truth. Which will he choose? So you all just heard that question from the Bloc Québécois. Well, you're not going to believe how Justin Trudeau handled this. Let me show you now. The Right Honourable Prime Minister... Mr. Speaker, I have already answered this question. I spoke to Premier Legault this weekend and mayors of various communities and indigenous communities in Quebec affected by the forest fires. And I would like to reassure them that the Canadian Armed Forces will continue to be there for Quebecers who fear for their lives, for their homes, their communities. We will be there and continue to work closely with the provincial government on Canadians' priorities and Quebecers' priorities. People who are watching their country burn. We will continue to fight climate change and talk about what really matters. But wait, there's more. Opposition. Has he really sunk into the low of exploiting these fires for political gain to distract from his inflationary and high interest rate policies? Is that what it's come to? That he's so ashamed of his economic policy and record? I'm going to have to interrupt this because I mean, getting, I'm getting noise from both sides. I know you can handle it. Uh, you do that well. But I, what, I, what I need to have is I want to hear what's being said. And I'm sure both sides want to hear what's being said. I'm going to ask him to start from the top, please. Mr. Speaker, this Prime Minister has just lowered himself to the worst steps to try and distract from his disastrous economic record. He's now using the forest fires to change the channel. This is even lower than I would have expected from him. Mr. Speaker, Canadians are going to sit down tonight to discuss how they're going to move into a small apartment because they're going to have to give up their homes. 
after his inflationary policies have driven up interest rates on Canadian mortgage holders who have record debt. Will the Prime Minister keep the promise he made six months ago to balance the budget and bring down inflation and interest rates before folks go broke? Yeah. Wow, that was a lot of Trudeau bashing and question period today. Well, it is Prime Minister's Day. Anyway, you want to see the result of all that? Because here comes Trudeau's last speech, and you're not going to believe how far off the rails he goes. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I've answered that question a dozen times. And for the Leader of the Opposition to consider uh, that the forest fires that are taking people from their communities and destroying their homes are a mere distraction and not top of mind for people from coast to coast to coast is shameful. But the fact of the matter is he doesn't have anything to say about that because he refuses to put forward any real plan to fight against climate change and he does nothing but fight against our plan to fight climate change. If he has a better plan, let him say it because we've been waiting a long time for it. But he has no plan to fight climate change. He's 